In today's exam video, we will be talking about DNA and how one change within a strand can cause major effects. So if we look at the original DNA coding sequence, this coding sequence is going to be complementary to the template strand, which so transcription will occur. The RNA polymerase will read the DNA template strand, and we will get our mRNA sequence. The lines represent the reading frames, which will occur in translation when it goes through the ribosome and becomes the amino acid sequence histidine, methionine, tryptophan, isoleucine, threonine, and stop. So the first mutation we'll talk about is a missense mutation. These cause for just one single base pair to mutate and change, and thus changes an amino acid within the sequence. In this case, the mutation type is a transversion. You're going from a purine to a pyrimidine. And the mutation protein strand is now histidine, methionine, cysteine instead of tryptophan, isoleucine, threonine, stop. So as you can see, this can greatly change the protein structure once it folds into its tertiary structures and can cause other issues within the cell, or it can cause none. A nonsense mutation often causes a lot more issues. It causes a truncation within the, the translation change. So this is our DNA and our mRNA that results. The mutation type is a transition due to it being a purine, being mutated to a purine. So it's going from a G to an A. And this causes for the strand to now be histidine, methionine, stop. You're not getting the other three amino acids, and so your protein is heavily truncated. A silent mutation leads to no problems within the protein. You have a base change, but the amino acid stays the same, and thus the protein, when folded, stays the same. In this case, we have a transition mutation because we're going to, from a pyrimidine to a pyrimidine. And the mutated protein strand once again remains the same. It's histidine, methionine, tryptophan, isoleucine, and that threonine. A read through causes for there to no longer be a stop codon where they're supposed to be. And this causes issues in now that the protein is a lot longer, so it may fold differently, it may have different properties that it didn't have before. So this was our new DNA, new mRNA. The mutation type is a transition because you're going from a purine to a purine, so you're going from an A to a G. And this causes for it to be histidine, methionine, tryptophan, isoleucine, threonine, tryptophan, threonine. And this causes an issue where the protein strand is now too long. These are my references.